Hi everyone, welcome to this video where we will explore the fascinating world of artificial intelligence, or AI for short. AI is one of the most exciting and influential technologies of our time, but it can also be confusing and intimidating for many people. That's why in this video, we will break down some of the complex AI concepts into simple terms and provide you with a beginner-friendly introduction to AI. We will cover some basic terminology, applications, and real-world examples of AI, and hopefully, by the end of this video, you will have a better understanding of what AI is, what it can do, and why it matters. So, what is AI? According to the Oxford Dictionary, AI is the theory and development of computer systems able to perform tasks normally requiring human intelligence, such as visual perception, speech recognition, decision-making, and translation between languages. In other words, AI is the ability of machines or software to mimic or simulate human-like intelligence and behavior. AI is not a single technology, but rather a broad field that encompasses many different subfields and applications, such as machine learning, deep learning, natural language processing, computer vision, robotics, and more. One way to classify AI is based on how it compares to human intelligence. There are two main types of AI, narrow AI and general AI. Narrow AI, also known as weak AI, is the type of AI that we encounter most often in our daily lives. It refers to AI systems that are designed to perform specific tasks or solve specific problems, such as playing chess, recognizing faces, or recommending products. Narrow AI systems are usually very good at their specific tasks, but they cannot perform other tasks that are outside their scope or domain. For example, a chess-playing AI can beat the best human players, but it cannot understand natural language or drive a car. General AI, also known as strong AI, is the type of AI that is more similar to human intelligence. It refers to AI systems that can perform any intellectual task that a human can do, such as reasoning, learning, planning, and creativity. General AI systems are not limited by a specific domain or task, but can adapt to new situations and challenges. For example, a general AI system could play chess, but also write a poem, diagnose a disease, or invent a new product. General AI is the ultimate goal of AI research, but it is also very difficult to achieve. So far, there is no consensus on whether general AI is possible or how to create it. Another way to classify AI is based on how it learns from data or experience. There are three main types of AI, symbolic AI, machine learning, and deep learning. Symbolic AI, also known as classical AI or rule-based AI, is the type of AI that relies on predefined rules or logic to perform tasks or solve problems. Symbolic AI systems use symbols to represent concepts, facts, and relationships, and use algorithms to manipulate these symbols according to the rules. For example, a symbolic AI system could use rules of grammar and syntax to parse a sentence or generate a sentence. Machine learning, also known as statistical AI or data-driven AI, is the type of AI that relies on data to perform tasks or solve problems. Machine learning systems use algorithms to learn from data and use the learned patterns or models to make predictions or decisions. For example, a machine learning system could use data from previous customers to predict the preferences or behavior of new customers. Deep learning, also known as neural network AI or connectionist AI, is a subset of machine learning that relies on artificial neural networks to perform tasks or solve problems. Artificial neural networks are composed of layers of interconnected nodes that mimic the structure and function of biological neurons. Deep learning systems use algorithms to train these networks to learn from data and use the learned networks to make predictions or decisions. For example, a deep learning system could use a network of pixels to recognize images or generate images. Now that we have covered some of the basic terminology of AI, let's look at some of the applications and examples of AI in various domains and industries. AI has been used to improve and innovate many aspects of our lives, such as Education AI can help teachers and students with personalized learning, adaptive assessment, feedback, and tutoring. For example, Khan Academy uses AI to provide customized learning paths and practice exercises for students based on their performance and goals. Healthcare AI can help doctors and patients with diagnosis, treatment, prevention, and research. For example, IBM Watson Health uses AI to analyze medical data and provide evidence-based insights and recommendations for doctors and patients. Entertainment AI can help creators and consumers with content generation, recommendation, and interaction. 
For example, Netflix uses AI to analyze user preferences and behavior and provide personalized recommendations and suggestions for movies and shows. Business, AI can help entrepreneurs and managers with decision-making, optimization, automation, and innovation. For example, Amazon uses AI to optimize its supply chain, delivery, pricing, and customer service. Social media, AI can help users and platforms with content creation, moderation, analysis, and engagement. For example, Facebook uses AI to detect and remove harmful or inappropriate content, such as hate speech, fake news, or spam. These are just some of the examples of AI in our everyday lives, but there are many more to discover and explore. AI is a powerful and promising technology that has the potential to transform the world for the better. However, AI also comes with some challenges and risks, such as ethical, social, legal, and technical issues. Therefore, it is important to understand the benefits and limitations of AI and to use it responsibly and wisely. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about AI. If you want to learn more about AI, you can check out some of the links below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.